Engineering Designers. Guys, how's it going? Congratulations on making it to the semi-final round of Space Off. You've earned your positions in this competition, and now we're getting ready to see just how creative you can be. That's right, Jason. As you know, in our last challenge, the teams got to choose the inspiration for their space. And this time, you'll be doing the same. Today's challenge is about translating what we hear into what we see. The inspiration for your next space will be music. Much like interior design, music is an art form that can easily transcend language and culture. We know how it makes us feel when we hear it, and there are countless styles to choose from. The question is, can you represent a musical style through color, texture, and materials? Whether you're inspired by the energy and passion of salsa, the smooth sound of jazz, the sophistication of classical, or even the simplicity of a lullaby, the choice is yours. How's that sound? Awesome. Yeah. And once again, we will not be choosing the winner of this challenge. After your rooms are complete, we'll be asking our viewers to decide which team designed the best space based on your inspiration. So, take some time to brainstorm, select your musical style, and then get shopping. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. We're peeking over your shoulders here, and I cannot believe what you've created in just a day's time. Wow, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. As you know, our audience will be making the decision on who the winner is, and this is your opportunity to walk us through your space, tell us about your musical inspiration, and how you've created these rooms. Let's start with David and Catherine's room. Great. <laughs> wow, guys. This is Look outstanding. This. This Thank is you. Awesome. Yeah. All right, you got to tell us the inspiration behind this wonderful room. This room was inspired by 1970s disco. Yeah, kind of a lounge-like feel from a nightclub of the era. First thing that pulls me into this is obviously the color, lots of vibrant colors, but this cocktail table ottoman. Tell us about that. Well, this was our centerpiece. I saw this and thought the whole room has fallen together. So guys, you chose the style of disco, but you also chose a certain type of room. Why did you choose a lounge? Well, we chose a lounge because it reminded me of sort of the uh, Studio 54 era and when disco was really in its heyday and all the sort of decadent things you would see, just a very lush, luxurious area with maybe fur throws, with a bar, place to chill out and relax. And we lived that era. It's a, a bit of a haze to me, but we, <laughs> we did live it. So uh, it was really exciting to see these things here at the store that we could revisit in our lives. I love the, the shag carpet. The, uh, the golden brass elements, the kind of uh, 70s, 60s chest over there is cool. 
I love the sculpture too. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. We loved it. Looks like uh, one we had in our home growing up, Jack. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Guys, your interpretation of a disco lounge, I think, is very successful here. Congratulations. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Wow, guys. Come on in. Enjoy the space. This is awesome. I think I've got a pretty good idea what, what inspired the room. So we picked jazz as our inspiration, and when we think of jazz, we think of a Prohibition era, kind of an underground speakeasy. During that time period, there was a design movement as well called the Art Deco design period. Um, so we kind of blended the two. Jazz was our inspiration, Art Deco was our outlet. Sure. Obviously, you started with sort of a, a dark palette here with this blue. Is, did, was that your jumping off place? Actually, this artwork was kind of our jumping off point. That was the first thing we saw when we started shopping for our space, and so that kind of became the inspiration. It also kind of fits in with that Art Deco time period. We really wanted to blend classic elements. As you can see, um, this Demi Loon here kind of has that traditional classic oh, look. Stately piece. Yes, um, and it does have a little ode to music if you Pull this. We've got some musical wow. notes. That's hand inlaid too, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. And I think what really makes this time period beautiful is the juxtaposition between the traditional and the modern. We start to move into some modern pieces here, and our coffee table embodies that very well. And the contrast between that and your more traditional Chesterfield and credenza here is just a, a beautiful combination. It's awesome. Can we serve you a drink? <laughs> Let's do it. We yeah. thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now, guys, I got to tell you, this room was incredibly successful. We walked out of the disco and into the jazz era. As you know, though, it's going to go out to our audience on Facebook for voting, and uh, we're going to let them make the decision. So good luck. Good luck, guys. This is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. The online voting period for this episode of Space Hoff has officially ended. And I'm pleased to announce to you that the winners are Kate and Jason for their Jazz Inspired Lounge. Congratulations, Kate and Jason. You'll be moving on to the championship round against Meg and Patrick in a Space Off that you guys won't want to miss. Thanks for watching.